Alrighty. Hey there, Trey, my man. Well, I wanted to uh, post this little video for you so that you may uh, have a better idea on what I'm talking about when uh, speaking about focusing. Let's take this little example, for instance. Let's take this, these two separate phrases, okay? One and two. We know that uh, we can play them each separately, but we have to be able to play them together. So instead of, um, I don't know, uh, focusing too much, I just uh, like to observe myself when playing. So uh, playing this piece. followed by the other one um, in such a way that um, that I observe myself at slow speeds of, of course at first um, and when I'm able to link everything flawlessly at that certain certain speed I raise the tempo and try to observe myself again and again and again by raising the tempo and finally uh, making sure that I can play the, that certain piece at the desired tempo while being able to observe myself playing and not be stressed, just focus and aware of what's next, always aware of what's next. Um, in the Japanese martial arts this is called zanshin, that means you are in perfect uh, in a state of perfect awareness regarding what's going on around you. You might want to exploit that in your playing and in your everyday life, of course. Try and do it with everything that surrounds you. Be in total awareness of what's going on around you, okay? Let me know how it goes with the winter team then. Oops.